in order to deal with powdery mildew, you have to know you have it, but it's pretty easy to tell. I'm up here in the cottage garden pumpkin patch, and you can see that some of the leaves have a white, powdery looking mildew. I told you it was easy. Almost everybody gets powdery mildew during the summer. And if you're one of those perfect gardeners who doesn't, let us know in the comments so we can all secretly hate you. Just kidding. Now, one thing I wanna point out is this marking on certain varieties of squash. It isn't mildew, it's just the normal leaf pattern. I get tons of questions about that. So once you have the diagnosis, what do you do about it? And you have to do something because left untreated, it can eventually kill the plant. The first thing you do is remove most of the problem, and you do that by removing the leaves that are affected the most. Make sure you remove these leaves completely from your garden. Bag them up or throw them away and do not put them into your compost unless you have a hot compost pile. Another preventative before we get into the home remedies is to keep as much of the water off of your plants as possible. Now, of course, rain, you can't do much about that. But when you're watering, water from below. Mildew spores can overwinter in the soil, and when you water from above and that water splashes from the soil to the leaves, it transmits or transports those mildew spores onto the leaves where they flourish. Watering with drip irrigation solves that problem. But if you live where it rains in the summer, splashback is gonna happen. A nice two to three inch layer of mulch will cover the spores so the rain won't splash them onto the plant where they will take hold and proliferate. All right, so like I said, all preventatives aside, you're most likely gonna get powdery mildew. So now we can talk about the five home remedies that will take care of it. And you're most likely gonna have at least one of these in your home already. Now with all of these, it's important to do a test spray on a leaf 24 hours prior to applying it all over the plant. Also make sure you've done step one, which is remove as many of the affected leaves as possible. The first one is milk. Whole milk, skim milk, it doesn't matter. You wanna mix two parts milk to three parts water in a sprayer. And you wanna make sure you do this on a sunny day because it's the sun that activates the milk to do its job. Spray in the morning, tops and bottoms of the leaves really soak them. There's some scientific debate on how this works, but one thought is in the presence of sunlight, milk and whey appear to produce free radicals on the leaf surface to make an inhospitable environment for mildew to grow and flourish. The milk spray can begin working in as little as 24 hours. And there's some concern that because it's milk and it's left out in the sun that it might smell. I've never had that problem myself. But if it kills the mildew, pretty good trade-off as I can't imagine the smell would hang around for long in the sun. Don't got milk? Mouthwash works in a similar way. Good old Listerine. If it kills the germs in your mouth, why couldn't it do it on a leaf? Use one part mouthwash to three parts water and again, spray the tops and bottoms of the leaf. If your breath is naturally fresh and you don't have any mouthwash, then the acetic acid of regular vinegar will kill powdery mildew. You can use plain white vinegar or any type of vinegar for that matter, two to three tablespoons per gallon of water, spray the tops and bottoms of the leaves until they're soaked. You don't use vinegar. Okay, how about baking soda? Just sprinkling baking soda on the leaves isn't effective as a powdery mildew treatment. But if you mix it into a spray with water and dish soap, it can be very effective. Combine one tablespoon of baking soda and one half teaspoon of liquid non-detergent soap with one gallon of water and spray the leaves top and bottom. Seriously, you don't bake or put it in the fridge to keep it smelling fresh? All right, I got one more. Good old hydrogen peroxide, the 3% kind that you get from the drugstore. And you wanna put in about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup per gallon, spray the leaves, top and bottom until they're soaked. You know, there's many ways to use hydrogen peroxide in the garden. Give this video a click right here to learn them all. I'll see you next time.